This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Five Minutes on Tech. This time it's a question that many of you ask again and again, are Macs actually worth the money? Well, the answer to that question is yes. No. Sometimes. We're going to find out now why, because this is not a simple question. Anything that costs this much money, obviously, there's no simple answer. This isn't what you're going to have for dinner. This is what computer you're buying, and where's the value? We're going to find out now. All right, we have a lot of expensive gear on the table here. Just to make a point of the fact that the Mac is not the only expensive computer product on the planet, right? So once upon a time, the Mac was worth it because, oh my God, the alternative was DOS. I know a lot of you aren't even old enough to remember DOS, command line, you know, yo, Lotus 1, 2, 3, stuff like that. Happily, those days are gone. And Windows is graphical. Not only that, it's not a joke anymore. It's not like Windows Vista. Windows 10 is actually pretty good. So... Does that mean the Mac still has an edge? Yeah, you know, it kind of still does. You know, it'd be easy for me to go, oh, hell no, you know, just to get the clicks and the views and all that sort of thing. But yes, because Apple controls the hardware and software ecosystem, it's still a lot more stable. It's easy when you only have seven major computer lines, right? The Mac, two Mac Pro, MacBook Pros, you got your regular MacBook, you got two iMacs, we have the nearly defunct Mac Pro standalone desktop computer. It's very easy to make that stable, to QA the heck out of it, to get rid of those bugs. It's pretty unusual, though I won't say it never happened because it just happened with the 2016 15-inch MacBook Pro that they have driver problems. They did have some display driver issues there with that release. But generally speaking, you open it up, it works. There's no bloatware. You get pretty good built-in software included in the price. I won't say free because it's part of the Mac tax that you're paying. You get your iLife suite. You get GarageBand, which is really very capable. You get iMovie. It's a pretty good movie editing suite. You get their Office counterpart, all included. Operating system updates are free. It's smooth. Again, there's no bloatware. It's pretty good. There's a reason why Mac diehards stick with it. Of course, there are some Mac diehards who once long ago tried Windows 95 and ran away screaming. So if you haven't looked at a, a Windows machine since then, do take a look because Windows 10 is really a very enjoyable experience. It's pretty stable. It's pretty secure, but it has to run on every PC ever made. So you will encounter bugs, driver issues every so often. But honestly, I really don't see blue screen of death happening on the many Windows PCs that I use. But if you're a gamer, totally just walk away from the Mac now. I mean hardcore. I don't mean that you just want to play some casual game or something like that. If you want to play the new Resident Evil 7 game, if you want to play Overwatch, that sort of thing, Macs more and more are becoming about being boutique thin, well-made, but not really very powerful computers. It's not. The 15-inch MacBook Pro is just not really built for gaming. It's also thin. It's going to get hot. It's going to get loud. Don't do it. Don't. Just don't. Likewise, if you have really heavy computational needs, I mean you scientific research types, you folks who have spreadsheets that go from Oklahoma to Texas in length, you need something with more computing power. Most likely you're not going to get your value from a Mac because it has reasonably good power for the everyday person, certainly, to people who are doing Photoshop and some Final Cut, that sort of thing. But it's not for heavy-duty computing. It's not for AutoCAD with very, very complex drawings, that sort of thing. I mean, that's what Lenovo workstations are for, for example, and, and the Dell mobile workstation line. Next, what does it say on my shirt? Right? Apple used to be really good at that, and maybe they will be again. Maybe they do need Steve Jobs to think different, but this, Surface Studio, this is thinking different. This is multi-touch, giant display that kids love to use, that adults love to use. It has the pen support. It's fantastic for artists. It's also very expensive. We could do another video on our Surface products worth it if you want. Put that in the comments if you do. We have the Surface Pro 4. We have Lenovo Yogas, that yoga. We have touch screens. We have all this neat, innovative stuff that really is useful. It's a nice way to interact with these products. If you want a touch screen, if you want a pen, Apple ain't thinking different in that direction. Right now, they're only thinking thin and they're only thinking boutique. I'm sorry, the touch strip on the new MacBook Pros, that is a Band-Aid for not having a touch screen, okay? The giant trackpad, likewise. There's not much that's really innovative right now in the Apple lineup. So if you want this kind of cutting edge, new kind of input and ways of interacting with the computer, if you want to fold it over and use it as a tablet or buy one that is just a tablet but still runs a full computer operating system, Apple's not for you. So you see what I mean? It, it's, yeah, no, it's, I don't know. You feel that way too, right? This isn't a high point right now for Apple, honestly, when it comes to their computers, and I'm hoping that things do get better. In 2017, 
even as a longtime Mac user, I'm not feeling so much like the Mac is worth it, unless you really want that nice out of the box stable experience and being able to walk into a genius bar. Those are still valuable things. Those are the justifications for spending more on the Mac. And of course, the hardware is beautiful and well put together. But there's also all sorts of counter arguments, as you can see. So it's not like it was 10 years ago, where the Mac was clearly the much more usable and more advanced in a lot of ways product. There's... They're not thinking so different right now.